Hey guys, uh, in this video, uh, we'll be going through um, what happens if you um, buy a cheap, um, unsupported SSD uh, for the PS5. Will it work? Um, what's the loading time going to be? Is it going to be slower? Or will, it, will, it, will the games work at all? So we're going to find all that out. For this video, what I'll be using is a PNY CS2140. It's a one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Since it is a Gen 4, it is supported by the PS5. However, it does not meet the minimum sequential read speed requirements as this SSD has a maximum of 3600 megabytes a second, which is about 35% slower than the recommended spec. Now, these are the M.2 SSD requirements that Sony has outlined for the PS5. As you can see, the interface has to be a PCI Express Gen 4, which this particular drive is. It also states that a sequential read speed of 5500 megabytes a second or faster is recommended, which is where this drive falls short. Sony also lists the maximum and minimum storage sizes and different physical supported sizes of the NVMe drive itself, but that's not as much of a concern as it pretty much supports most types in the market today. Now for this installation, all you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver just for the stand. Now the other thing you might need as well is a heat sink for the SSD. Now mine didn't come with one, so I just picked one up cheap from eBay, cost me about 10 bucks only. Um, but if your one has a heat sink already, you can skip this step entirely. Now the first thing you want to do when taking apart the PS5 is take off the stand, so you'll just need to use a flat head screwdriver there. Okay, now that the stand is off, what you need to do next is remove the faceplate. Position the PS5 so the PS logo side is face down, then grab the top right corner of the faceplate with your right hand and bottom left corner with your left hand and gently pull it down while lifting the top right slightly. And it'll so just come off there. Oh, there's a bug in there. Don't know how that made its way in there. Okay, next what you want to do is remove the little metal bracket that's there. So the SSD will sit underneath that. So all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to take that off. Once the bracket's off, you'll see there's uh, several holes in there. Now the reason for that is that Sony allows you to use different form factors of SSDs that you can um, put in. Um, so. The next step after this is what you need to do is prepare the heatsink. So you essentially need to put the SSD inside the heatsink first, um, secure that in there, then you can put the SSD uh, inside the PS5. So um, I'm going to be preparing the SSD. So you simply just put in the heat pads on there, then you place it in, ensuring that the holes um, meet um, the holes on the um, heatsink as well. Uh, yeah, then you simply just need to slide the top part of it in. Um, now it will be different from different for different heatsinks, so just follow any instructions that come with uh, the manual in, uh, of your heatsink. So once you've secured that in there, um, you can simply just plug that in. So just plug it into the clip as um, normal. just ensure that's all uh, connected properly. So once that's in there, you'll see that there is a little screw that sits at the very end um, end of that um, socket there. So you just need to take that screw off and then place it in where your NVMe sits, just like this here. So just ensure that you tighten the screw up here and, and secure the SSD. Don't tighten it too much though, just enough. Then you just um, plug the metal plate back in. And it just will fit just, just snug. And then just place the cover back on. Okay, here we go. So I put everything back, plugged everything in uh, to the PS5 and I will turn it on for the first time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the PS logo comes on, it loads as normal. All right, so this is the screen that will come up. So it's um, basically identified the SSD. It's just saying that you need to format it before using it. 
So just hit format. Formatting will be quite quick. Um, okay, now, so this is the screen that will come up next. So essentially, as expected, it's showing us that the read speed uh, may not be fast enough to play PS5 games seamlessly. Uh, and if you experience problems while playing games installed in the M.2 SSD storage, try installing it in the console storage. Now, it's showing as 2800. Um, 86 megabytes a second although the advertised speed of the um, this SSD was 3600 megabytes a second so it is a little bit slower um, but um, yeah let's see if it still works okay so once the SSD has been formatted um, you'll just come up with this screen next so it just tells you if you want to change the way you were stored um, then it will rebuild the databases and here we go. So that's loaded up into the home screen now. Um, so the PS5 itself seems to be working. Let's go into storage and see if it's recognized. It. Here we go. As we can see, the SSD is recognized. It has a full one terabyte of storage. Um, okay. Now, so what I will do first is uh, I will open up one of the games here just to see um, how it loads up. So this, this Spider-Man game that I've got here, Marvel Spider-Man, this is currently in the console storage. So I'm going to load this game up and see how long it takes to load. Then what I'll do next is move this game to the um, M.2 SSD to see uh, if there is any difference. Okay, there we go. So the game's loaded up now and it's working, it's playing. Um, okay, so now what I'll do is I'll move this game to the M.2 SSD. Okay, so that's completed now. Uh, now let's go and open that up and see how it goes. Okay, so now it's loading from the M.2 SSD. So far seems to be the exact same. So there you go guys, it's loaded up and it's working, no drop frames or anything just as yet. Um, as you can see there was basically no difference in load times whatsoever. Um, now I will try more games um, and I'll post the results um, at the end of this video of load times and if there's any issues. Now I can't guarantee whether there will be uh, any issues on every single game, um, but um, only the ones that I've tried. Now, what happens if we use a Gen 3 NVMe SSD um, instead of a Gen 4? What will happen then? So this is the screen that will pop up if you insert a Gen 3 NVMe M.2 SSD into your PS5. So essentially it will say that um, this SSD is not supported as it needs to be a minimum PCIe Gen 4 or later and um, it will also list the capacity requirements. So then it will only give you the option of uh, turning off your PS5 to, and to remove the M.2 SSD and then uh, turn it back on again so you can't proceed any further than this. So essentially um, you need to have at least a Gen 4 SSD uh, for it to work with the PS5.
Okay, so um, in conclusion, um, it all worked. Um, so um, I ran a few different games um, and I tested the load times and they were pretty much exactly the same. I could not notice any different at all, but I'll include all the, um, all the load times um, at the end of this video. Um, yeah, so guys, look, it, it completely works. I've tried several games. Um, can't guarantee that it will work in the future though, because, you know, uh, I guess Sony has set those minimum recommendations. It could be a possibility that in the future, some games um, may need that faster storage uh, and whether that will work at the time um, or not, um, can't guarantee. Uh, but yeah, at the time you can uh, always upgrade to something faster. Um, I picked one of these up for dirt cheap. Um, I even saw it on sale um, for about 109 uh, AUD. So these things can get quite cheap and there's several other brands um, which are um, a bit slower. Um, they can get, um, yeah, you can find them and pick them up quite cheaply. Um, so yeah, look, I mean, if, if, if budget is a constraint for you, then definitely um, one of these SSDs will, uh, will work. Um, I've tested them in several games, seems to be working perfectly fine, no issues. Um, and yeah, I mean, worst comes to worst, you can, um, you know, if, if it does um, hurt you not work, you know, let's just chuck it on your PC. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, if you did, like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.